I was in court today as I am pretty much every day and have been for almost 30 years. Handling this morning some DWI cases, assault case, traffic matters, getting some matters dismissed because compliance with some informal deferred prosecutions, which is always a good call if you can do that, particularly in traffic matters. I found here lately a lot of my traffic cases, if my clients will do online courses in how to drive better, uh, that typically, if, an, uh, if the proper arrangement is made with the prosecutor, typically can result in the case being dismissed, if your record's pretty good, without payment of court cost fines, all sorts of stuff. There's no telling what a good attorney can do for you. Again, going into the courthouse by yourself, trying to make those arrangements can be tough, but I tell people all the time, you could practice self-dentistry with a pair of pliers, but I wouldn't recommend it. Same thing about going to court. Having someone that has done this for many, many years and knows what they're doing can always be extremely helpful to you and is usually a pretty good call. It's what I would recommend. Now, of course, does it help my pocketbook? Absolutely. I get paid for doing my representation, but at the same time, your lawyer's fees should be reasonable and commensurate with the kind of services they provide and how much they help you deal with a problem. And I always try to make sure my services are well worth the price. And again, the price is reasonable and I'm happy to help people and work with them on that. Another observation I wanted to give you from today that I think will be very helpful. It is about running your mouth. The cases I was dealing with today, clients got themselves in trouble, one in particular, in a lot more trouble than they otherwise needed to get into because there would not really have been a lot of information that could have been used against them by the officer, but they tried to talk their way out of the situation instead of being quiet, invoking their constitutional right to remain silent, and simply letting an attorney handle it. You might not be able to beat the ride, but in the end, you may very well be able to beat the rap if you keep your mouth shut. I never see people talk themselves out of problems. I always see them talk themselves into problems. So what are the magic words? I'm happy to cooperate, officer. We just need to speak with my lawyer, Tom Goolsby, and then text me, and I will be happy to intervene and help you in any and every way possible. That's the smart move. Keep that in mind.